close quote, and I guess simply stated, the risks of inaction are far greater than the risk of action. There is no doubt that there is no doubt that there is no doubt that Saddam Hussein now has weapon now has weapons of mass destruction. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. There is no doubt. He is a he is amassing them to use against our friends, against our allies and against us. There is no doubt that 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 his aggressive regional ambitions will lead into future confrontations with his neighbors, confrontations that will involve both the the weapons he has today and the ones that he the ones he will continue to develop with his oil wealth. There's one more reference in the Cheney speech here to nuclear weapons. And here it is. And yet another. Yet if we wait, Cheney quoting Cheney, yet if we wait until that moment, Saddam will be simply would simply be emboldened. As one of those who worked to assemble the Gulf War Coalition, I can tell you that our job then would have been infinitely more difficult in the face of a nuclear armed, of a nuclear armed, of a nuclear armed, of a nuclear armed Saddam. This is a statement about the supposed nuclear weapons program in Iraq from Condoleezza Rice, and the statement was given in September of 2002 before we invaded Iraq. And she says, Condoleezza Rice says, we do know that he, Saddam Hussein, is actively pursuing a nuclear weapon. We do know that there have been shipments going to Iran, for instance, into Iraq, for instance, of aluminum tubes that are really only suited to high quality aluminum tubes that are really only suited for nuclear weapons programs, centrifuge programs. We we know that he has the infrastructure, nuclear scientists, to make a nuclear weapon. And we know that when the inspectors assessed this after the Gulf War, he was far, far closer to a crude nuclear device than anybody thought, maybe six months from a crude nuclear device. There will always be some uncertainty about how quickly he can acquire nuclear weapons, but we don't want the smoking gun to be a mushroom cloud. That was September 8th, 2002, Condi Rice. This is um, a statement made in 2004, January 2004, by David Kay, our, the Iraq survey group uh, looking for weapons of mass destruction. Kay tells the Armed Services Committee that uh, the group had has failed to found, find any evidence that Iraq possessed weapons of mass destruction. Quote, let me begin by saying we were almost all wrong, he says in his opening remarks before revealing that the inspection teams had found no weapons of mass destruction. I, I believe that the effort that has been directed to this point has been sufficiently intense that it is highly unlikely that there were large stockpiles of deployed militarized chemical and biological weapons there, he says. And then, so the description of David Kay meeting with the president about this matter, or <laughs> this lack of finding the weapons that were supposedly there. Uh, he meets with uh, Bush, uh, Cheney, and Condoleezza Rice, and Andrew Card. Um, Bush wants to know what went wrong, but shows no anger. This is quoting David Kay. The, the president accepted it. Um, there was no sign of disappointment from Bush. He was at peace with his decision to go to war. 
I don't think he ever lost 10 minutes sleep of sleep over the failure to find WMD. That's David Kay in speaking in 2004.